a quick audio check just to double check levels Everything sounds good. There we go. Press the wrong unmute button, but we're fine. We're fine. Good morning. Afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. I'm jumping back into our Stardust Valley save from last week. I actually started like a new new save on my other account. And like I already played like maybe like 25 to 35 hours on already. <laughs> so <laughs> I kind of forgot what we've done in this save. But you know that's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll, we'll get back into it. I'll, I'll figure it out at some point. Yeah, I think the strat was gonna be um, grind fishing. That way we can start doing mining. I can't remember if we even started mining on this save. Oh my god, I'm so poor. Oh yeah, today's the fair. I decided we were going to start off with the fair. Where's all my shit? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh my god, I don't have any sprinklers in this save. It's going to be brutal. I wonder if I can buy more seeds. This is farm is looking kind of skimpy. Oh, I have one sprinkler. Okay. We're popping off.
Oh, we have no water. Oh yeah, I wanted to clear out this bottom section because I think I want to put my crops down there instead. And then maybe put sheds and stuff up here. Or sheds in my farm up top. I think that'll be a better setup. know if like filling the oh, right come on if um filling the cat's water bowl does anything oh it's in the town square so i can't buy any crops today sad Like, what I discovered, or what I think is true, is that the pickled items make more money than just the gold crops. So I think I'm just going to hold onto all my crops. And then go from there. Because I know there is, like, the spring fair, or the fall fair, during fall, where you, well, you do need high quality stuff. Out of all the times- ooh, okay, we for sure need strawberry seeds. Oh my god, no money, we're poor again. <laughs> we're not gonna plant those strawberries now, because it's kind of late in the season. I kind of want to wait till next year to start growing them. Because they do reproduce, and I don't want to plant them this late. Like, I think we're gonna skip all the dialogue in like the town events because I've played all of it already and they don't say any different anything different the following years basically oh I, I skipped through it sorry <laughs> come down now kiddos you're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize now is everyone ready Let the egg hunt begin. It's so hard to beat Abigail. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Oh, someone took that one. Frick. Oh my god, one second! Ah! I missed that last one. Maybe we beat Abigail? I don't know. I think she usually gets like eight every year. Well, look at all these eggs! Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this effic efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the good this side of the gem. See, I need to warm up, man. <laughs> and now, the winner of this year's egg hunt. Come on, da, ah, Abigail. Of course, she beat us. Of course. I've only won the egg hunt one, and I've done it like maybe seven times so far. Well, that's it for this year's egg festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. I thought you're you're a bad egg. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today, man. Okay, so let, let's. 
set these seeds aside for now. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I think if I would have gotten that last egg, I would have beaten her. Coleslaw? Icky. Does anyone really like coleslaw? Like, honestly? You love creamy coleslaw? Well, you're weird then. <laughs> like, I don't mind mayo, but like... I just don't like veggies, that's the thing. Still really picky, and I'm, what, 22? But to each their own. You know, can't give you too much shit for it. Wait to get all the sprinklers come in. Are you ready to eat raw mushroom? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Granted, I do love mushrooms, but like I've never done shrooms, so. Mushrooms are actually like gross. Because like a lot of the soil is gross with like oh uh, what's it called? Manure, so you have to make sure you rinse your mushrooms really good whenever you buy them from the store because they do not come pre rinsed. Will I be doing shrooms? No shot. Mm -mm. I'm a goody good. Okay. I'm gonna go buy some more seeds. Drugos are bad, I'll never do drugs. goody tissues I knew it yeah I I've never smoked on god never smoked and only had alcohol accidentally one time <laughs> so I'm committing to that dare campaign contract I signed when I was 10 oh it's Haley's bird okay we're not going for Haley we're going for Leia this run I'm going for Haley in my personal save. Only one time shocking, yeah. Do you want to hear the story about it? I've said it on stream before, but I don't know. You might have been here last week? I can't remember the user. You might have. Maybe? Question mark? Oh, I told it last time on Friday that was it. But if you want to hear the story, I'll tell it again. Oh, I have no money. I'm poor bitch. Okay, let's go fishing for a little bit. Well, I guess I can mine because I do have a larger inventory now, so maybe next time or tomorrow we can mine. That was easy.
It's good that you're clean, free from all those addictive sins, for sure. That's low-key why I've never wanted to try, like, any type of, like, drug or alcohol. Because I do have, like, an addictive personality. Like, I I be eating candy all day, you know. Like, <laughs> we went to the grocery store and I got, like, five different types of chocolates. Because, like, Halloween's coming around. So all the candies are on sale. And I'm also, like, usually, like, most, like, nicotine or, or, like, weed products, like, they make you more, like, anxious or depressive. So it's like, I don't need that. So, in my head, I'm just like, let's just not. Like, I've been offered, but it's just like, I'm good. I mean, to each their own. I don't care if other people do it. Like, as long as it's legal, do whatever you want. But it's just, I cringe whenever I see people posting, like, them drinking or smoking, like, online. And it's like, do you not realize that, like, your employer can see that? Like, I had one of my friends post herself, like, doing shrooms. And it's like, what are you doing? It's like, what are you doing? Like, you're gonna get in trouble. In trouble. Like, people think it's just because they have a private account doesn't mean people won't see it. It's like, I could eat, if I really wanted to, I could easily screenshot it and snitch on you, you know? A candy fiend, I knew there was something mm -hmm. off about you, yeah. I, I, I let myself have one piece of each type of candy every day. <laughs> so I have like five pieces every day. That way, because like, snacking is bad because it, it can just keep going, you know? That's why like I stop like buying snacks or getting chips from the store. I mean, why would you brag about doing drugs and stuff? Yeah, for sure. Like, I don't get it. Like, it's not cool. I mean, to some people it may be, but it's like... It's cool for maybe, like... A year, and then, like, you're gonna regret it. That's just my take. I'm glad you agree, though. Or maybe you're just, like, a yes man, and you're like, you secretly do cocaine. <laughs> It should be like a secret shame. Loki. Loki. I think a big thing people don't realize, because I'm in Washington state, so it's it's legal to like have marijuana and stuff. But like what a lot of people don't realize is technically you should not be smoking or have it accessible for your children. So like let's say I'm a parent and I just leave it on my countertop. Like, DSHs could, like, ding me for that. Or potentially take my kid away. Because the child can reach you, right? So that's what a lot of parents don't realize. So do not be leaving, like, your bait pen. Or, like, your blunts out and about. It's not saying that your kid will touch it, but, like, DSHs will ding you for that. So if you're a divorced dad, and you're trying to get custody of your kid, <laughs> make sure you put that stuff away, okay? Got me, I'm a crackhead. Yep, see? Do it. Proposer. <laughs> Granted, different states have different regulations on it, but just make sure you don't have it out. Make sure it's locked up. We're in a cupboard. I think tomorrow, tomorrow's Monday, we'll probably go mining tomorrow. They need more stuff for sprinklers. Mm -hmm. Oh frick, we're out of energy! much inventory left. We can probably munch him some seaweed and fetch a little bit more. 
What's your most hated activity in this game? I really do not like watering. Mainly because, like, I know I can get sprinklers to where I don't have to water anymore. All the other mechanics in the game are pretty fun to do. Combat mm -hmm. is low-key kind of hard for me. Because, like, when I, like, spam... I, I spam click my sword. So... <laughs> Because I know, like, some different weapons have different speed levels. So, like, the more you spam, the less control you have of it, I think. But yeah, watering sucks. It takes so much energy, too. But once we get to Magnet, we'll get our ores. Get to... Get in those sprinklers set up. Because I have two other saves. I have one save that I'm on year five, and then my new save that I started last week that I'm almost done with year one. So, like, I know what to do. It's just year one is so much grinding. A lot more tedious, I guess, gameplay. The tippy top of my laptop is blocking my TV. <laughs> I'll have to fix it in a second because I can't see my energy bar. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> oh, we got a flounder. Nice. is a bit too close. Forgot that this is a spot. Okay, there we go. see if there's any trees grown yet. Because if there are, then we could probably, instead of mining, just get some wood and stones. Because not many grow during winter, so you have to make sure you harvest them during spring and fall. And summer. <laughs> I don't have my axe. Okay, there are some spawns, so... Okay, I don't need that horseradish. I can always get it tomorrow. Don't want to throw anything away right now. Oh, I forgot I can't go back this way. Oh, I can. Okay, we're good. We're good. Build another chest so we can put our fish in. I have no room. Fuck. I mean, frick. <laughs> okay, we don't need the seaweed. We can always get hella seaweed. Random stuff. So, oh, I have a catfish in this save. The catfish is super hard to get. I wasn't able to get it in my new save. Or in my other one, rather. I have a flat. I don't have a sardine. I don't have a herring. I like to have two of each fish because once I get po once I get the pawns, then you can put them in there. 
and pawns will basically give you um, items like row that you can put into the barrels and then it'll just spawn fish so it's, it's infinite fish glitch you know okay so I can sell the rest of my fish here well, I can plant my potato I have one single potato Debating still if I should mine. I should probably mine tomorrow. I need to reorganize these at some point. <clears throat> I was going to put fish here. I'm gonna use a similar setup to my other save where I have like basic no stars <clears throat> crops in this one and then silvers and golds in here. So like if I need money I'll sell them, but if not I'll save them for the barrels. So if we're gonna go mining tomorrow, still have to water. Oh, do I not have a sword? There must be in another crate. Huh. Oh, it's because I haven't gone to the mines. This is a save that has like the rocks on it, so I haven't gone mining yet. That's it. So I was holding that off. Okay. Oh, it just brings one. Let's leave five in here. Because I don't think we're going to need all those. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, now we're ready for tomorrow. So then all we got to do is water. You know, right to mining. Ooh, bee house. Cool. We're up a thousand. <laughs> oh, salmon berries. Nice. Okay, so tomorrow you definitely have to go chop some wood. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops, crops will all die off. So plan ahead. Yeah, that fucked me over my first save. Because I didn't realize that one season was 28 days. So, like, I had planted hella stuff on, like, the 28th. And then everything died. Because, like, I didn't know it was the last day. It was a sad day. Still gonna take a bit to get used to where everything is. 
different things in different crates. favorite part of the game is how everything looks different in every season. Like, just the color palettes are so nice. Go to the mines yet? Let's see. Build a coop, find the axe. Can I? Do you think the salmon berries taste like salmon? No. I've actually had them before. They're kind of tart usually. They're like these tiny ass berries. We find a lot of them because we're in Washington, so there's a lot of them on like the trails and stuff. It's an actual berry, yeah. They're really good. They look like tiny blueberries almost. But like it's because like a blueberry is on a shrub, but then the sand berries are like more like leafier bushes. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place undisturbed for so long? I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Yeah, okay. You're very knowledgeable about berries, yes. We used to go hiking every weekend as a family. Uh, means Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Yeah, we used to go hiking every weekend. We did something, it was called letterboxing, which is kind of like geocaching. It's where you found, like, little boxes that had stamps in it. Nice. Yeah, when I'm first starting out, like it's best to just find the exit, and then I'll still roam around to see if there's any ores. That's what I need right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm a starting pro. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is just for like, if there's any noobs, you know. Maybe someone's watching this for like a tutorial, not for entertainment, I don't know. <laughs> okay, we found an exit. I'm so used to having the magnet ring. 
where everything just like floats to you. I can't wait to get the save like up. Combat skills are impressive. Thank you. I would think otherwise. <laughs> but thank you. Okay, we found an exit. If there's any enemies, I usually get the, the fly things. Because they, they usually will spawn a bug meat. Which is harder to find in the lower le levels of the mine. So I'll try and get as many of those as I can near the start. Oh my god. I'm getting out of here. I'm not doing that. Okay, let's hope it's not another infested area below. I would like to observe said combat skills in the desert mine. Aw, oh, dude, I hated the desert one. I sucked at it. Is there's the mission to get to level one level 100, I think it is. And what I did is I crafted like 80 staircases. Because it's hard to get through all of them in one day, right? So I went through like maybe 20 levels and then I was getting late, so then I just used staircases the rest of the way. Oh, of course. Okay, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. slimes jump at you. Oh, come on. Oh, just one left. Nice. We didn't die. Let's try to get to level 10 before we dip out of here. I got drunk, someone spike a drink. No. No. That, that'd be horrible. The story time. We went to Ikea. <clears throat> and near the end of the store by the checkout area, they have the grocery section. <clears throat> and my voice is still warming up. But like, I was looking around, like just getting snacks and stuff. And like, there was like this really cute, like, cider drink. And me, being like a dummy young American, I just think cider is like sparkling cider. Like I get the can, I'm like, oh, this is nice. And with American regulations, they're very strict on like how you label and package alcohol. Like it has to be very explicit. Like, oh yeah, this is alcohol, right? The, like the alcohol content has to be really like big and noticeable on the can. 
but since it was a foreign product, it wasn't. It was in like tiny ass print on like the bottom, near the bottom of the can. So <clears throat> I go to check out. I'm like, oh wait, I want to get something else. So my dad checks out for me, and of course he he looks a bit older. So like they didn't ask for his ID, but like I look like I look like a kid. It's so, like they for sure would have ID'd me, right? But I didn't get it because <laughs> I wanted to buy more stuff. So like we get home, I crack it open. It's like an 18 ounce can or 16 ounce can. I like I have a sip and I'm like, this tastes different. Like this hits different. <laughs> Cause like this was like maybe this was last year, I think. Yeah. It's so, like I was of age. It was fine. I didn't do anything illegal. But, like I took another sip. I was like, yeah, this is weird. This is odd. So I I go to my sister. I'm like, hey, can you try this? I was like, it tastes funny. <laughs> so she takes a sip and she's like, yeah, I don't like it. Mind you, she was 20 at the time. Oopsie on my end. <clears throat> so we look at the can and we're like, oh, <laughs> that's why it tastes funny because it's like real cider. <laughs> but like at that point, I drank half the can, which is like nothing. Like I wasn't tipsy or anything, but like in my head, like. I went to work later that day and I felt like in such a like a good mood like nothing really bothered me <laughs> but yeah I didn't like it but that's the story time how oh, Megan accidentally had alcohol it's funny because like when I told everyone at work what happened everyone clowned on me for it because like they know that I'm such a goody good it was a good bit. It's a good bit. And everyone was like, yeah, of course that's what happened. <laughs> like, of course you would do that, Megan. Such a ditz. A <laughs> drunk on half a can of cider, quite a rebel. For real, for real. Oh no. I can't remember if I got. A way down yet. Oh, come on. There we go. What'd we get? Ooh, finally some shoes. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so I think tomorrow we'll go into the forest and get some wood. And then get some salmon berries. Because I usually will keep, like, just a stack of, <clears throat> of, like, foraged fruits in my inventory. That way I have heels. daggers any good? I never used the daggers. Alright, I tried them once and I didn't like it because like the range isn't very far. Who uses daggers? I know, right? Like, I don't get the appeal. We're gonna need a rod, axe. We need everything. And maybe the butter toast. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna rearrange these a bit. Okay, now we're ready for tomorrow. Did 
Do I like chocolate spread on my toast? I used to like it a lot. But not as much anymore. I don't I don't eat much toast now that I think about it. I usually just have toast plain. Or like if I'm making a sandwich, like a PBG or something, like I'll toast my bread first and then put the stuff on it. But Nutella is pretty good. Like I, I just beat Nutella straight out of the jar, which is like should not be doing. <laughs> so I stopped buying it. Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled into your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you just swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? No shot. Better to craft your fertilizer. Um, I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful. Nice. New hospital Cena's? Yeah, for sure. Oh, let's go. Let's see if she'll focus. I did these on um, Monday or Tuesday, I think. It's like a bright orange and then a magenta. I usually do my nails once a week, but thank you for noticing. I try. Oh, are they very pretty? Thank you. I used to do my nails like every week when I was in school. Like I would do like patterns and stuff. But it was like cheapy nail polish, so it'd come off after like a day. But now like I usually just do like simple like just a plain coat. It'd be different if I went and got them done. Like if I were to go to an actual salon, I'd get like some crazy ass pattern. But it's like one of those things I do to like like treat myself, you know? What kind of brand? Um, I use Hollow Taco. She's a creator. She does YouTube. She also occasionally streams. But the product is really nice. It's a bit um, expensive. The bottles are usually like $15 each. But they're really high quality from what I've seen so far. cheap makeup much probably not worth it right i don't actually wear makeup i choose not to <clears throat> mainly because like it's too much effort <laughs> like the most like feminine thing i'll do is like paint my nails occasionally do my hair but otherwise it's like nothing too crazy probably because like my mom never wore a lot of makeup when i was younger so she never really taught me how which i, I don't care i never really wanted to but I guess the answer is no. <laughs> but I'm very much like of the sentiment. If something is higher quality and it's, a, it's like 20% more, I'll gladly pay that premium for it. The natural look is catching on most people are going that way yeah for sure i know i really like a more natural look 
I think because, like, the thing is, like, people who do, like, a full face, like, contouring and, like, highlights, that type of thing, you can change the way your face shape is. And to me, it's so disorienting to see someone without makeup that I've only seen with makeup. Like, I just don't like it. I mean, to each their own, people can do whatever. But it's kind of like, whenever I take a picture of myself, I don't use any filters or anything. Like, even like the smoothing ones. I mean, I got hella pimples, like, I don't care. Like, it used to be bothering me a lot. Just also, like, I don't want to show something that's not me, you know? Man, it's only noon and I'm out of energy. Cheers! Oh, I forgot. I have to go to the community center to unlock the wizard dude. I'll have to do that later. <laughs> You're a hairy wizard? <laughs> One of my mom's friends, this was a couple years ago, they had like a little get together for Halloween and everyone was supposed to wear pun costumes. And um, my mom's friend, she was a hairy wizard. So she like wore like a really fuzzy sweater <clears throat> and she knitted like brown gloves with like fuzzy threads. It was a good bit. And she carried around like a big ass ceramic pot. Are you gonna be Hermione Granger this Halloween? No. <laughs> I think I was actually Hermione one year because like, I have like, big poofy curly hair. Yeah, I think because like, me and my neighbors dressed up. Like, I was Hermione, one was Harry Potter, and one was um, Ron, I think. It was a good bit, but that, one, that was when I was like eight. Like, I haven't done Halloween in ages. Yeah, I think the last time I trick or treated when I was like, Twelve, and then after that, I'd just be the person that would hand out candy every year. Cause I've never been to like any of those cliche like high school Halloween house parties. I've never really had a reason to like dress up once I've grown up, or was past the trick or treating age, I guess. Like my friends were the type to like play games all day. <laughs> if that gives you an idea. Like, I was friends with, like, the incel types.
Just eating all the berries we gathered today. It's almost like it's pointless. don't have the spy yet, yeah. I never used to use the spa too much. Because I didn't like how you'd have to travel so far to get to it. I mean, I guess it's more useful when you unlock the minecarts. Because then you basically can fast travel. Like, I think it's easier just to, like, carry food all the time. Yeah, minecart then spa. I think the minecart is the easiest to unlock out of all the um, rewards in the community center. Because that one I think you just need, you just need items from, like, the mines. And then, like, gold bars. Or the Four bars, I think. I will. I made a list of everything. Like I typed it out. Oh, well, there's Robin's axe. It's Tuesday. I think tomorrow, I think I have enough to get an upgrade for the pickaxe. I think it's a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's a thousand, five thousand, and then ten. Yeah, I have enough. I'm gonna upgrade my pickaxe. And then I can just grind materials. And then go back to mining. I think that'd be the best course of action. I can take that tomorrow. Thousand gold bottle caps and five copper. Are they <laughs> I don't think they're bottle caps. <laughs> Okay, three days down. I might go for maybe either two or three hours today. I do have a bit more time. But yeah, so we are about an hour into today's stream. Gentle reminder, get some water, get a snack if you need it. Also, if you're new here, drop a follow. Helps me out. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you. Let's go ahead, get some water first. <laughs> Okay.
Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into town, upgrade the pickaxe, check out the comm center. And then grind some materials. Maybe the better thing to do today would be fish, because we have, like, no money once we upgrade. I would have brought some geodes, but I don't have enough money to pay for it right now. Oh, it's 2,000. Oh, that sucks. Trash can is 1,000. Okay. Darn. That's fine. We could probably get it another day, I guess. And slimes, and then level 40. Oh, I forgot to talk to Robin. <laughs> another day, another day. Maybe we can wait till Friday. Because Friday is usually the day that I'll give gifts to people. That's when the majority of the people are in town.
Yeah, so I think tomorrow we'll focus on fishing. So probably fishing at the pond by the mines. That we can deliver Robin's axe. That we can grind enough money for <clears throat> the pickaxe, which we can upgrade on Friday before we deliver gifts. If I have anything to gift, rather. Just like, oh, I can't really give her anything that she'll like.
Okay, ready for tomorrow. <clears throat> Gonna go pond fishing, or lake fishing, and then deliver Rob Robin's axe. Yeah, I'm gonna get a chocolate. <laughs> you can hear the crinkling. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ooh, up a hundred bucks. Let's go. Okay, let's head on to the lake. You found my axe. What a relief. I almost dropped my toe off using the other one I was using. Thank you. Ooh.
Okay, we don't really need the seed now. Keep the geo, but give her the algae. Come on, I don't want this algae. Okay. How's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with plants all day. For sure. Maru. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. I really wanted to go for Maru Run Run. One Run. So her cutscenes seem really cute. Ooh, I kind of want that.
We got a chub. Full head. Everything else we have in there. Okay, so we gotta get our gifts ready. Props usually do really well. Like, only the children and, like, Haley don't like the crops. But we're not going for Haley this time. Okay, so let's grab any artifacts. I like to keep at least three geodes in my inventory because sometimes you need them for pawns. Okay, we also need five iron bars. Oh, I just realized I didn't grow any green beans. <clears throat> okay, I think... Okay, so I have to get a green bean, green bean plant tomorrow. That way I have at least one for a community center. Preserve jars, nice! You know, we got enough for to upgrade the pickaxe, pickaxe finally. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in Stone Tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. Nice. I have a request for you. I need fresh cauliflower for a recipe I want to make. Could you bring me some? For sure, I got some. She's here. I didn't realize she came here this early. Ooh. Yeah, I can't afford to buy that right now. Hmm.
Ah, oh, come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truce. Midary between, or mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred. You get the point. And you, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold. You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Juminos. Or Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center. We have no reason to fear them. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm gonna see for myself. I'll return shortly. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of the scroll. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Ah! Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top toast. Oh, can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Okay. This what it's like to do drugs? <laughs> You've gained the power of for forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. I think the kids like the berries. Oh, she doesn't like that one. Okay. <laughs> Usually the kids like the jams and stuff, but I can't make those anyway. I don't like eating those because that's a lot of money.
I think it's so funny to give people gifts they don't like. It's great. And then Jody wanted a cauliflower. Nice, got that done. Should have one of those. Go run and grab it real quick, so we're gonna see Robin later. My inventory's full though. Welcome to Pierre's, how can I help you? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Come and get it folks, coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. Man, 50% is insane, dude. Well, any takers? Yeah, I'd probably go for that coupon, let's be honest. But, I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Yoja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. Alright, let's go to the museum first. Make a few donations and then do the geodes. Okay. Like, I know you can organize them. I like I but I'm gonna go for color because just aesthetically it'll look a lot nicer
Oh, I forgot. The colors of the room is red, orange, yellow. Fuck, I'm stupid. Oh, man. I forgot. Oh, my God. Reggie Biv, dude. <laughs> Failed kindergarten, man. Oh, I, I didn't upgrade. I didn't upgrade. Okay, cannot forget about that. Yeah, we're gonna go give Linus a gift and then head to the saloon. Maybe fish in between because it's not really late enough for everyone to get to the saloon. Maru? Glad we caught her. It's so hard to find her. Because she's either in the dental office or the, the hospital or just on like a bench. Oh, he likes potatoes? There's like nothing that he likes. Okay, I'm glad I know that now. Like, I know there's a list on Wikipedia, but I like, try not to cheat, I guess, too much. Nice that he likes potatoes. Cause he's a picky little bitch. Her, her herring. Oh, I can catch Jody. Already gave her a gift, said. So I think everyone else is at the bar the rest of the night.
Okay, let's head to the saloon now, because everyone should be there. Everyone except for Clint, I think, because he usually gets there late. Your best days to give gifts that I've found are Tuesdays and then Fridays. Because Tuesdays, most of the, like, the, the women are in the air shop doing yoga and shit. And then Fridays, most everyone's at the saloon. That way you don't have to travel as much. But I think for now, I'm just gonna do gifts on Friday. That way I can hold on to more of my items. Can I give Willie already? Okay, now we just need Clint. There he is. Okay, I think I got everyone. Oh, what did I miss? Haley, ah. Haley and Alex. Ah, it's closed. Darn, next week then. It's so hard to get Haley because, like, she doesn't really hang out in places. She's usually by the river and then by the fountain by the comm center. I forgot to buy green beans. Not tomorrow, tomorrow. We got two sunfish, keep one in there, okay, sell the rest. Okay, so tomorrow we can probably focus on going to the forest, getting more materials, and then fishing the rest of the day. Okay, we're also about two hours into today's stream, so just gentle reminder, get some water, get a stack if you need it. Also, if you're new here and like what you see, drop a follow. It helps me out. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you. Really appreciate the support. It's raining today. Up 90. That's the coop mining and ten slime, so those can both wait. Yeah, I have to remember to buy green beans today.
I wonder how long it takes trees to grow. Like, it seems like a week. how the stuff falls in the water. Unfortunate. Like it's kind of unavoidable with that certain tree. I just realized it's raining. There's special fish. I forgot. Rip. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the market. Buy some beans. And then probably just fish in the lake or the river. Since it's nearby. Quartz. I might have that. Ah, oh, ten days. I don't have enough time. That sucks. Man. I mean, error on my part. I don't really want to buy crops until I have sprinklers, because it's annoying. This is not that important right now. Come on! That was definitely a river a rainfish. Okay, nice. We got a shad. It's one of the rainfish. Nice, another shad.
Ah, I missed the chest. Well, that was an easy shot. Okay. Let's drop stuff off and then go back to fishing. Or actually. Never mind, let's keep fishing. Because <laughs> I don't really need the like seeds and stuff, so I can toss those if I need to. Yes! Okay, cool, another catfish. Nice. Hey! Afternoon, Katie. Hope we're doing night. Thank you for popping in. Since I started the save last week, I started a new save on my personal. And I'm basically done with year one on that one. So when I started the save again today, because I'm only playing the save on stream, I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I totally lost, like, where I was. <laughs> Another catfish, nice me, internet dating for real, for real. This is why I don't date. <laughs> Nah, nah, I'd be the one catfishing. He would be. <laughs> for real, for real. Me, the one who never dresses up, who never wears makeup. Just uses hella filters on all my pictures. All the face tune. That'd be me. <laughs> no! I love editing pictures, but I feel bad about posting them. I kind of agree. I think if you like edit pictures, it depends on like what you edit. Like whenever I take a picture, I usually will just like edit filters, i.e. like color filters or like brightness, saturation, that type of thing. Like I will never do like anything that'll like remove blemishes or like change like face shapes because I think that is toxic. Because like people can obviously tell when you're changing like when you're color correcting, like it's fairly obvious when you see like it's very hard to get, like, um, a natural, like, what's it called? It's like the hours between, like, 5 and 7 with, like, great lighting. I forgot what it's called. Mm -hmm. But, like, stuff like that is very hard to emulate. Thank you. Remember that AI photo? I know, that was whack. <laughs> what if he just made an account that's just, like, AI photos? Like, just as, like, a social experiment? Like, there's people who have made, like, fake influencer accounts. With like those AI photos and it's crazy. But I think if you're gonna edit a picture that's a view and like let's say you do freestone, I think you should be like very like 
clear and explicit that it was edited. Because, you know, don't want to be ruined the minds of little 15-year-old girls. Um, but if you're just color correcting, then I think it's fine. That was your face on a man? Oh my god. Dude, I would need to get that if I'm going to be catfishing people. <laughs> You'd never know. I know, it's insane. This is why I never do, like, the face, like, scan things to, like, unlock my phone or whatever. I ain't ever doing those. Making a DIY purse right now? Yes. Oh, send me pics. I was just gonna ask you to send me pictures. A DIY purse? Out of what? That's so cool. It's like borderline hippie, but kind of cool. Is it a duct tape one? If it's a duct tape one, I'm gonna say it's cringe. I know there was this one, like... I saw a repost of, like, people, like, DIYing, like, Dollar Tree, like, mats into a spider web. I saw that roaming around the internet. Like, I think DIY stuff is good as long as it... The final looks good. Like, I don't like when DIY stuff looks like crap. Or, like, where it looks cheap, I guess. It's like the flower embroidery flags that grandmas hang outside their houses. Ooh! And kind of lacy. Kind of floral. That seems cute. For sure hype to see that when you're working on it, dude. So, like, do you have to sew and shit? Or is it just, like... I guess you would have to sew. Or, like, maybe you could, like... Hammer and rivets or bolts. Well, not bolts, but, like... Yeah, rivets is the word. It's more of a carpet material? Okay. Okay. That's gonna look sick, though. Like, I want to, like, make my own clothes. Because I don't fit into a lot of stuff. Or, like, since... Because I'm 5'2", so it's hard to find clothes that, like, fit me properly. Like, I want to... I Like, my mom has a sewing machine, so she can totally teach me how to sew. But it's also, like... It's a lot of work. Because I would like to, like, learn how to tailor, at least. Man, we got three catfish in this save. That's whack. I have none in my other one, and I'm pissed off. This is, like, one of the few fish I need for the comm center. Oh, do I have a bream in there? Nope. Good thing I didn't sell it. Trying to figure out how to thread my sewing machine. Dude, even I know how to do that. Or I guess every machine is different, but dude, come on. That's like, like preschool stuff. But is it like your own sewing machine or are you borrowing your mom's? Because that's kind of dope if you have your own sewing machine. Like, that's an adult purchase. It's yours. Ah, oh, dude, that's so cool. Like, I think my favorite thing about, like, having money is buying my, like, stuff that's mine. Like, being able to buy craft stuff and it's mine. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Because, like, my mom, she has hella craft stuff, but she doesn't use a lot of it, so she's like, oh, just go at it. Like, I'm not using it anyway. I'm like, cool. Like, um, my aunt, she, <laughs> she'll ship us, like, boxes of, like, junk, like, stuff she'll have around the house. And she sent us a box recently, like, last week that had, like, 
hella like nail, nail decals in it. So I kind of want to use some of those for like a decoupage type thing. Or, like a mixed media. This is like gems and stickers. Okay, I'm not going to need... Oh, I could probably still hold on to my watering can because I have one plant left. This going to be fishing and then gathering materials until I get the pickaxe ready. Pickaxe is ready. Nice. Radish salad. Sounds icky. Okay, so we can probably just go for the pickaxe and go mining the rest of the day since it's ready. Then while we're there, we can upgrade the regular axe. Oh, do we have enough copper, though? Yep. Nice. Oh, I should probably get more heals. Missions? I always forget to check. Ah, we don't care about the wizard yet. Music is chill. Yeah. I like to have the music up. I need to figure out a way to um, output. I'm playing on my Switch right now. I don't do any PC gaming yet. <laughs> I, I think a good analogy my friend uses or used or told me the other day was that like playing on your PC is like it feels like an office job where you just like use your keyboard and shit. And I was like, oh, that perfectly explains how it feels like. But I need to figure out a way to output my capture audio to my computer without fucking it up. Um, because whenever I try to like output it to my de or my computer, it doesn't capture to the stream for some reason. So I gotta troubleshoot that. Because like when you listen to this with headsets, you can hear like all the different sounds, and it's like so ASMR vibes. But it's cool. How do you stream on Switch? Um, I use an Elgato game capture card, and um, it's nice because the Elgato capture card it finally can be like integrated into the. I use Twitch Studio, but um. I don't know what capture card you use. Or do you just like screen cap your PC? Is that what you do when you stream, Katie? Um. Because you can use the capture card if you're playing all, like a console. So like a Switch, PlayStation. You can capture- okay. That's probably why. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, in order to screen cap your Switch, you would have to have a capture card. I'm trying to think. I have, because I have my Elgato, which is pretty good, and then I have another one that was like 30 bucks I found from Amazon, which is alright, but the issue was I couldn't get it hooked up to like my capture software, because it was like a cheapy one from probably like China, so um, it didn't have any like software you could download. 
capture it on. Um, nice, we got the pickaxe. Yeah, I kind of had to get a capture card. Is I only play Nintendo baby games, so. The only issue, like, that I wish I could improve was that, like, my resolution is kind of low whenever I stream. But that's only because, like, that's how much my laptop can handle. Like, if I want to stream at a higher resolution, I have to get, like, an actual PC. And Mega does not have money, so that's not happening till like, I become a real streamer. If that ever happens. Um... Oh, I didn't bring my... Fuck, oh, I didn't bring my stupid... Blade. You look like you mean Baby Peach. No shot. No shot. What makes you think that, huh? <laughs> like, if I do Mario Kart, I usually will do... Um... Like, Toadette. Or... Isabel from Animal Crossing. You big baby. Shut up. I'ma time you out if you're gonna keep acting up, Katie. I'll do it. <laughs> Drop these off for now. I think one of my <clears throat> like favorite like stream bits is like either yelling at mods or like seeing people like lap trolls like in real time. Where like they pull up the logs and stuff. I know Hassan does it all the time, but it like it's such good content. Like I love it. Like not that I want haters, because that'd be kind of sad. But I, I think it's just funny when you like pwn people. I think that's also why I like the vibe of like smaller streamers because like it's a bit easier to tell when your chatters are like joking because like you will know most of your chattels chatters like individually not on a personal level but like you'll know know them that's why like I've never really chatted in like a larger streamers chat room because like I'm so scared that any joke that I say will like be taken seriously that's why like whenever I chat and like I'm joking or being sarcastic, I will intentionally put like a lull emote. Cause that to me like kind of implies that it's a joke. <laughs> I get tired all the time. <laughs> you would be, you would be. Oh, that's great. Like what do you even say? Do you just spam or do you just like make a joke that's like kind of funny but not funny? Like what do you do, Katie? That's funny. I roast ah uh, see. Parasocial Andy's thinking they can clown on their favorite streamers. Oh my god, I need a fucking better blade. This one sucks ass. It's so funny because like the mods are like, is she joking? <laughs> or is she like being mean? Like it's funny because like the only chat that I'll really like I'll try and be like chatty in, or like try and crack jokes in his rainies. And it, it's so funny because like she'll read like the nicer jokes and then there's some jokes that like I'll try and maybe think are okay. Like there was an article like released the other day, I think it was yesterday, when they were like the real Zodiac killer was exposed, right? So I was like, because she, she was making a joke about like being like the killer in one round of um, Dead by Daylight. And so I... <laughs> I was like, are you the new Zodiac killer? 
<laughs> and like she did not re react to it. And I was like, oh, that's probably not a good one. She doesn't like that. But I think it's funny to see what jokes work and what don't. Like you gotta know the audience. When the, I know when the small stream ignores your message, it's so sad. Like, I know I shouldn't be, like, upset, but it's just, like, uh, It's just, like, disappointed. It's mainly because, like, I'm such an attention whore. Like, I will read most anything that people will say in chat. Because, like, I know I've gotten a few messages where it's kind of like, Oh, you're, you kind of want me to say that, you know, so you can jack off later. But, like, I think it's funny. <clears throat> like, they'll use, like, specific words. And I'm just like, oh, they're trying to, like, find some kind of, like, borderline perverted or whatever. But it's like, I don't care. Not that I'll say anything, but... Okay, I'm gonna get out of here, because, like, I need a better sword. Before I can do real combat. The longer- because I've been watching Twitch for maybe a year now, because I got into it during like the Among Us phase. Mainly because like I was- I was such a huge YouTube frog. Um. Like, the longer I've been on Twitch, like, the more, like, entitled, I guess, I feel. <laughs> like, I was- Because <laughs> I've only recently started subbing to people, like, Katie- Katie Lee was my first sub. Everyone check her out, she's great, she's, like, actually funny. Only when she streams, though, like- <laughs> But she never does! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She does it when she has time, because, like, she's a real job. She's a life, you know. Um... I learn all my jokes from Meg. <laughs> this is just your study session. <laughs> take notes, take notes. I think- okay, I think I'm a way funnier chatter than a streamer. I think cause like, when- I know I still like have a lot of anxiety like just be having a camera on me. That's why like, I'm not as like talkative I guess. But like as a chatter like, I'm so much better like coming up with like cringy shit. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, I'm a comfort streamer. Aww, that's cute. You should lean into it. I kind of want to do like a series where I do like, like pajama fighters or something. Where if I could ever like collab with people, play like party games and just like be called cuddled up in pajamas. I think that'd be a cool theme to do. What sucks is that like I wish I could do like IRL content. Cause I feel like that'd be fun. But just like COVID, you know, can't really be going out. I mean I guess you can, but like it's not the best. Love that as plan. Yeah for sure. That'd be great. Like I cause like I have a whole bunch of ideas. It's just a matter of like I don't really have anyone to do it with. Like I think I, would, I think I would be a great producer, like honestly, like I love planning shit, I think I'm really good at like coming up with concepts, like doing concept art, I really like coming up with basic designs, that type of thing, so I think I'd be a good producer. Um, but I have no experience, so, you know, I don't know if that'll work. You're vaccinated, yes! That's great, that's great. That is very good, glad you're joining the 60% of all Americans. We're vaccinated. Should be higher, but you know, there's dummies out there. Anyway, I got my flu vaccine the other day. That was cool. I got it at a Safeway. And it was weird because, like, to read it, I'd grown up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I haven't gotten the flu. Flu vaccine isn't as important to get. But it's still good to get, because, like, there is a new, I guess, quote-unquote, variant every year. It's still good if you get it. Um, you don't necessarily have to have to, but... Um, I 
I like I saw arguments people being like oh flu isn't that bad because uh, there was way less cases in 2020 but that's because like everyone was wearing masks so of course like regular like common clothes that type of thing didn't like spread as much here be I love you love you too Katie I'll see it a bit um what was I gonna say <clears throat> but parasocial Andy <laughs> <laughs> Saying I love you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Me and Katie are friends. Not a bit. She's my friend. Um. What was I saying? So like, it's still important that you like you get all your shots if you can. I think the important thing, especially about like the COVID vaccine, is so easily available. Like, there's well locations to get the shot within like five to 10 miles. So there's always gonna be clinics that are offering it. So if you haven't gotten it, get it. Some places give you a cool sticker. <laughs> I was so disappointed because I went and got my flu shot, right? And I was goofing with my sister. I was like, you know, <clears throat> when we get, I hope we get a sticker. Then we could like take a picture of us like putting stickers on each other's foreheads. Like I thought that'd be a funny meme, but we didn't get stickers, and I was sad. I was sad. Ooh, Seventy bucks, baby. Let's see. I might go for another hour, maybe. Let's see. What time is it? One thirty. Because I have to get some art stuff done today. Yeah, no shit, fishing is a good way to make money. But Dummy Dumb does not know that. <clears throat> How's the country life going for you? It's been lonely here without you, but I'm proud of what you're doing. Love, Dad. He has found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. Nice. Okay, it's Monday. There's probably not going to be any, uh, what you call it, any tree to respond yet. So you can probably, hmm, let's focus on mining and then fish on rainy days. But we don't have many days left of this season though. But I think I've gotten most every fish for the season already. Last thing I'll say about vaccines is even if you got your COVID one, it's still important that you get your flu one. Not really, like, necessary. But kind of like with the COVID thing. Like, the best thing to do to protect your family, especially, like, your elderly family members, if you're around them a lot, is if you're younger, get the flu shot. You know, not that bad. I remember when I was little... Like, I was so scared of shots. I think because, like, we got them at, like, the vaccine, like, pop-up clinic in the mall. So it wasn't in, like, a private setting. So, like, you'd get your shot next to someone sitting, like, ten feet away from you. Which I kind of didn't like as a kid. But, like, they're not painful. They're not that bad. <clears throat> I think it's also funny how a lot of people, like kind of shy away from using like modern technology in terms of like medicine but it's like people during like the black plague would literally kill to get the kind of technology that we have now Yeah, that's all I have to say for now about the vaccine. Main takeaway, TLDR, vaccine good, get it, please. Oh, last- <laughs> another thing. Like, I think YouTube announced last week that they're going to, like, further repress or, like, ban people who use any anti-vax sentiment, not just anti-COVID vaccine sentiment, which is, like, insane. Um, like, which is- Crazy good. 
I mean, I think it's kind of like imperative that they take that stance anyway. But just to say that they're enforcing it to that degree is good. Um, because like the whole thing, or like the false study where they were saying that like the vaccines cause autism, which they do not. Autism has been proven to be a genetic um, diagnosis. Like my sister, she's um, neurodivergent. And we've talked about like, like, how does that make you feel that people think that? And she's like, you know, it's it sucks and it's unfortunate that people think that because it's basically diminishing the whole diagnosis and the autism movement as a whole. Like, I know when I was a little, like, when my mom was pregnant, they did test and they were coming up that I'd probably have Downs or some other type of neurological disorder. And so, like, at that point, it's not the vaccine's fault. That's for sure genetics. I need to switch these because I have like an instinction or instinct reaction rather to move to the left of my weapon. <laughs> I hate the moths. Oh my god, I really need a better blade. Some sucks ass. I don't think I have enough money for a new blade though. They're expensive. And debating whether or not, like, what's the best path in terms of, like, if I should buy a better fishing rod first or try and get, like, better swords. Because, like, getting better swords is kind of pointless. Because by the time you, like, unlock a good sword, then you'll unlock another one. Because the swords range from, like, two to ten thousand dollars, depending. So it's like, might as well just spend that little extra time like spam hits especially in the early couple days because you don't have a lot of money or you don't have the means to like make millions yet I think it's funny how the maggots will, like, drop a rice. It's like, how does that work? get the staircase? I feel like- did I? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, we got a glow ring. Finally. I must have gotten the staircase already. Oh my god, I did. I wasted so much time there.
I really don't like these spiral levels of the mines. Because it's it takes a lot to like get to the center. And it's usually like <clears throat> the last level before the increment of five. Okay, we got a staircase there. Okay, we have a lot of time. It's only five o'clock, so. Okay, I'm gonna move my leeks or a spring onion so I don't forget about it. Ooh, club. Okay, let's switch to the or switch to the club for now. <clears throat> I usually don't like the clubs. You can see how it kind of lags a bit? It lowers your speed. So they're not good for like spammers like me. Because you can't do moves until like the animation finishes. But this will be good until we can get a sword. Hey, Yana, my favorite. How's the farm life treating you? Pretty good, pretty good. Have you played Stardew Valley at all? I don't know if it's your type of game, honestly. Since all you play is like FPS, so you know. But it's usually really chill. It's going good. We're still in spring. Because, like I said yesterday, one day in game is about 20 minutes IRL. You can probably get through like um, three in game days in an hour. And then there's 28 days per season. <laughs> FPS is not all I play, just games are bad. I've never played this one. Yeah, okay, I gotta get out of here. Don't think it's you. Yeah. I don't know, it's, it's, it's really chill. Oh, we got a new sword, we got a new sword. Yes. Get rid of the stupid club. Oh, it's only 48 damage. I'm gonna use the sword because I hate the club. Club is too slow. So I still want to be able to spam. <clears throat> Watching people play is coming. Yeah, like, I'm kind of the opposite. Like, I usually will watch, like, faster paced games, but I like playing slower paced stuff. I think it's kind of like, you know how you have friends? Like, if you're the quiet friend, like, you usually like the outgoing person. If you're the outgoing person, you usually would like the quiet friend. It's kind of like that, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of grinding in this game. I really like it because it's a lot of repetitive, like, actions. It's, like, very simple. Like, you press A and Y, and that's basically it. <laughs> So, <laughs> but it's it's not a baby game, mind you, but like really simple controls. So good for like not real gamers like me. Oh, we got another ring. Nice. Whew. The music in this game is really nice, and I have the music and the sound effects turned up. So like, it's really like ASMR-like. Like, if I had headsets, I'd be listening to it, too. Oh, we got helicopter. Okay, Monday... 
tomorrow's gonna be Tuesday. Don't have any crops. So probably just more mining unless it rains. Yeah, I don't think we got any money. I don't think we sold anything. Ooh, Copper X is ready. Um, probably not gonna eat, need the axe though. Probably can just go straight to mining. Oh, flower dance tomorrow. Yeah, I don't need to buy anything, so I don't think we gotta go to town. Mm -mm. Oh, I should probably get the axe today. Yeah, but then I'm not gonna do. Any chop? I should probably get the axe today. Loki kind of think the town events are cringe. There's not much to do with them. I, I guess it's because I've played like a total of seven years in a game. Like I've seen the cutscenes like seven times. And it sucks because the dialogue doesn't change every year. Oh, not on my fishing rod. I'm gonna do. Yeah, we're going for Leia this game. I just can't miss her birthday. Let's see if there's anything up here, because we got a whole two hours. Anybody see the Twitch leaks yesterday? Um, okay, my take is, like, I think it's insane how people are getting upset, like, only about how much money, like, popular streamers make. Like, dummy. Like, of course they're gonna make lots of money. It's nothing compared to, like, YouTube's monetization. Like, I was seeing people say that, like, Twitch money is, like, dirt to, like, what YouTubers make. But it's like, what do you expect? If it's crowdfunded, like, you're basically supporting them. You're basically giving them their paycheck. So you can choose to support if you want to support, but it's not like they're forcing you to, like, give them money. I mean, that's the glory of it, I guess. It's just people are jealous and mad. They're like, you're making money while well, I'm not. That's basically why people are upset. But, I'm very much like, I'm happy that people are making money doing what they like. You didn't- okay, you gotta look that up, Yana. And that's your goal for today, look it up. There was a massive um, data breach. Of like, just internal coding and information of the Twitch site. So make sure y'all got two-factor authentic authentication on. Because it has not been confirmed that like passwords or like um, addresses have been linked, but they might be in the future. So just make sure you get your password or at least put on two factor auth authentication on. <laughs> um, but Sam, I can't even imagine. Yeah, it's all like crowdfunded. It's not like they're getting money from like the big guy. Um, the only. Uh, I was watching Ludwig's take on it last night because he made a short like video on it. And it's basically the main thing that's going to come out of it is like creators getting not upset but like wanting to bargain like better partnership deals because you can see um basically like the standard like for affiliates right they make two and a half dollars for every sub right so basically 50 percent of the sub price but then higher level creators make a bigger percentage so his point was basically like when you see what um, me with less subs or more subs, I make less than someone with half the subs I have because they have a greater monetization cut. Oh, frick. They're gonna change. 
But that's gonna be like the main takeaway for like creators. But I'm very much like, if I make money, that's cool. Like, I'll be happy with anything. <laughs> but I think the, ma the main thing is people are just jealous that they aren't making as much money as others. Like, that's that's the only thing. Oh, come on! I think a lot of with like creating stuff online, whether it be like content or whatever, a lot of it is derivative from luck and like who you know. Like a lot of my returning viewers are like people who I've checked out their streams. Like example, like Yana and Pokai. Like I saw their stuff first, and in turn, hopefully, they like my stuff. I don't know, or they like me? Question <laughs> mark. But it's about like. If you want to be successful, like, I think you also have to consume the content. Yes, mad networking and stuff. Like, I'm very much, like, a chatter myself, so, like, I'll go into random streams and chat. Like, I can't- Like, there's some people who don't get, like, Twitch culture, or, like, don't get the culture of emotes. And it's like, dude, what makes you think you're going to be successful if you don't even understand it? Oh my god, I'm going to die. I'm literally going to die. Oh my god, come on. I'm going to die. I hate these moths. I hate that though because people only follow because they want you to follow back. Low key, yeah. I never understood like the follow for follow culture. Because I'd rather have people, like, actually, like, me for me. Like, I know it's, like, bigger number bit or person. But then it's, like, if you're not gonna watch, then... Like, what's the point? Like, I think I think it's sad when I see, like, someone who has, like, 5,000 followers, but, like, only get 100 likes on IG. Like, that to me is sad. Like, it all seems, like, so fake. Like, are those 5,000 people, like, actually... Like, enjoy your content, you know? But it's fair, the ones that are making a lot of money on Twitch are making it because they have the numbers. Yeah, for real. But a lot of the people who, like, make bank have, like, older contracts, so they have better monetization rates. And also, like, name recognition is very important as well. Like, people who've been streaming for a long time, they've been doing it for a long time, so they've had, like, five years to build an audience versus someone who's just starting this year. Um, so I guess there's mo there's lots of levels to it. That's why, like, I don't get too upset if it's just me. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, I told myself I want to get at least affiliate in six months. That's the goal. And this is month this is month two because I started in August. Because I'm not going to get too bent up out of shape if I'm not successful. And you know, that's fine. Because, like, this is just, like, a side thing. Like, imagine Megan being a streamer. So cringe. <laughs> um. I'd rather have smaller numbers, but have viewers that really fuck with me. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I love trolling. It's funny. I, th I think it's also cool. I was talking with this Katie earlier, who's in earlier, who might be in later. Katie's cool. Keely, she's great. Funny stuff. I mean, she's funny. Anyway. But, like, it's so much easier to, like, be a troll in, like, smaller channels chats because, like, you kind of know them more on a personal level. Like, this is why I've never chatted in, like, a larger streamer chat because, like, I'm so scared. Because, like, I'm sure you'll notice, but, like, whenever I'm, like, joking, I'll put, like, a lol. Or like a lol W at the end. Cause I'm memeing. I'm I'm being sarcastic. But like if you just see the comment like just words. How can you tell if they're joking or not? Like I was in <laughs> agreed I never chat in bigger streamers yet. <laughs> Tier 3 sub never chatted. <laughs> um I love the way you chat, thank you. Thank you. I try. I feel 
I literally said this earlier with Katie. I'm gonna say it again. But, like, I feel like I'm so much more, like, quote-unquote, like, wittier or funnier in chat than, like, on stream. One, because, like, I'm still working on, like, my improv. <clears throat> Just in general. I would love, I would love to take an improv class. I was gonna sign up for one with my friend pre-COVID, but then COVID happened, so, you know, we had to, we had to drop that. But, like, I would love, absolutely love to take an improv class. I think what I need to work with is because, like, I have anxious brains, so, like, I think of, like, every possible scenario, so, in turn, like, I think of any possible, like, punchline I can use, but it's just a matter of, like, learning your audience, thinking if they'll find it funny or not, and then delivery. Like, I need to work, because, like, I have a lot of concepts in my head for, like, what might be a good joke or, like, a good take. But just like wording it, um, like when I when I text my friends, I'm so I'm so manipulative, low key, low key, high key. But like I will like plan what they're gonna respond before I send my text. So, so like if I say this, they're gonna say this or that in response, right? So like I will intentionally set them up for a joke that I can make to like text response later. Like, I'm- I'm so manipulative in text, it's bad. It's bad. But... Yeah, I just need to learn, like, when to commit to a bit. Because, like, my sense of humor is, like, borderline dark. Or, like, edgy. I really like puns, I really like wordplay. Like, the edgy humor, like, I get from my dad. Like... <laughs> I learned a lot of my humor from him, which I learned this past year, and it's great. My mom doesn't appreciate it, but you know, it's, it's a funny meme. <laughs> aware of your girl well, so Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I'm, I'm self-aware. I know what I'm doing. Uh. I think it's better to be self-aware than not be. My opinion. Okay, tomorrow's Wednesday. I kind of want to get to a deeper level. Ooh, let's actually check. Because I always forget that this... <clears throat> um, that this farm has the... Mine deposit. Definitely better to be aware, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I I have a joke, I have a joke. I have a joke. Already, already? Like, I was a super quiet kid. Like, <laughs> not the school shooter kid, but like, definitely the quiet kid, you know? Like that one? Coming up, that was not as, like, good as it could have been in terms of, like, wording or delivery. But, like, I had it. I I just need to, like, workshop my jokes more. Like, I would love- Okay, I would not to stand up. That it, stand up is cringe. I've gone to a couple open mics. They're cringe. Not participated. I've been to a few. Um, a lot of people miss. But, like, open mics are mainly just to test out your jokes, right? Because I went to one of my friend once, and he's done a couple stand-up. Unfortunately, I never got to see him do it. Because, like, just schedules didn't line up. But, um... Because stand-up is just for workshopping your jokes. Like, it's not, like, your finalized one. Like, I kind of wish I went to a traditional college to where, like, I would be around more, like, creative people. Looking back, I should have gone for, like, an on-campus degree. But, you know, that's fine. That's fine. It's it. It allowed me to work and stuff. <clears throat> okay. We are about three hours into today's stream. 
I know I'm going for a bit longer than I used to do, but that's because like Stardew Valley is like super chill and I, I could literally play this all day. It's bad. It's very bad. Like yesterday, um, I did Odyssey. I played Stardew Valley for like four hours on and off the rest of the day. It was bad. Very bad. So I might I might go for maybe one more hour. Maybe. Because I have other stuff I have to do today. Um, anyway, we are about three hours into today's stream. So if you enjoy what you see, drop a follow. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you. Also, drink some water if you haven't yet today. Go chug a big tall glass of water. It's Wednesday. Yeah, probably best bet is to still try and grind as much as we can. I need iron ores for the sprinklers. It sucks because, like, this save I'm so much further behind than my other one. Like, by the end of spring, I had a lot more sprinklers set up. I think it's because I started mining too late in this save. Like, I didn't start mining till a week ago, which was a mistake looking back. Big mistake. Because now I'm not ready for summer. But it's fine. We, we have two years to get the columns that are done, so it will be fine. Yeah, I think level 35 is where the iron comes in. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Look at the sword. The green and the wood. Cute. It's also why I don't want to buy a new sword, because like usually enemies will drop them. I was so annoyed the other day because like I had just purchased like like the third most expensive sword, I think. And then like the next time I went in the mines, like an enemy dropped it. I was like, I spent like fucking four thousand dollars on this. And then I just randomly got one. Bullshit. Oh. Scared me. <clears throat> oh. I forgot there was a cutscene today. Oopsie. <laughs> leave the mine, leave the mine. I mean, flower dance is not really important. Like, you can only really buy furniture and then get rejected by, like, whoever you're pursuing. Because no one's going to dance with you year one. Which sucks. Because they're going for Leia this save. Because, like, it's kind of interesting because Leia has, like, a similar backstory to you. Like, she left the city and then moved to Stardew. For, like, a chiller life. Like, for real, I like thinking that I could live on a farm, like, leave the city. But then it's also, like, a lot of work. I think I have a lot more of my life to live before I want to settle down in, this, in a, like, a farm town. Like, I kind of want to experience more of, like, the city life when I'm still young. Yeah, nothing good here. And it's always the same props every year. You can always buy them next year. Come on. Oh, she's such a bitch. Listen, I'll be honest. I don't want to dance with you. Fuck off. Next year. Next year, I'll get you. Next year. Yeah, that was such a rude response. Oh my god. 
Yeah, start the dance. I'm disappointed. Leia was really mean to me. Whew. That one crushed my ego. Of course she's dancing with the fucking poet. That'd be sad, yo. I mean, granted, I've never been to a dance, so I don't know how to ask people out. Funny story, actually, in high school, I confess to someone every year that I rejected all three times. So it's not that I wasn't trying. It's just no one liked Megan. <laughs> I mean, at least I could be like, at least I tried. Like, I wasn't like the incel who never asked anyone out, you know? You miss 100% of the chances you don't take? Exactly. Like, you know how you hear people being like, oh, I wish I asked out my high school crush. Like, we could be together to this day. But like, no shot. You missed your chance, dude. Gotta shoot your shot. I like how you refer to yourself in third person. Yeah, I think it's funny. Like, I legit think it's a funny bit. When I was at when I, when I was at the daycare, like I don't know, I think it's just a funny bit to talk in the third person. I okay, like analysis. I think it's also so I can kind of disassociate from that past Megan, you know, referring it to as like a different person entirely versus saying I did, saying Megan did. Basic psych for you. Okay, question. When you think back on your memories, do you see it through, like, your POV, like, from your, like, eyes? Or do you see it from, like, an overarching POV, like, someone, like, looking over you? Because I see stuff in my memories from, like, a third-person point of view. Like, legit. Because, like, I don't have a lot of memories that I can, like, recall. Like, I just remember, like, vague stuff happening. So, like, whenever I, like, I try and pull a memory from, like, the archives, I always see it through, like, an omniscient point of view. It's weird. Depends on what it is. If it's something horrible, I think it, I usually see it from overhead, but it's some weird camera angle. Okay. So, it's not just me. <laughs> I think it's also to kind of like disassociate from the memory to kind of like lighten the glow maybe that could be why you remember it that way or like people remember it that way if it's pleasant i see through my eyes oh that's cute that's cute that's probably what it is like i can probably like i actually want to look like look that up now because like for fun like i'm such a fucking nerd like for fun i'll look up like psych papers and stuff and like, cause I, I'm very much into like learning why I think the way I do. It's like, I'll just try and pull up like a psych research article or whatever. And read up on it. Like the other, like a couple weeks ago I looked up an article where it was like, Are autistic people inherently violent? Basically it concluded that, um, when there was like, insane asylums where they put, um, people with mental uh, disability and disabilities in um, um, basically a lot of people who had violent tendencies or had um, a higher case rates of um, schizophrenia um, most of those people were abused at a young age or like they grew up in a household that um, had a lot of um, violent people in it so basically, um, majority of violent actions are learned. Like, you're not inherently violent. It's usually you will learn it from your parents or your caretaker. So, it's important to not be too self-critical. Like, if it is learned, then you can most likely not grow out of it, but learn how to manage it, rather.
Because my mom, she works in a special education classroom. And we were having a talk about like... Because they're trained on how to react in de-escalate situations if a kid is like, act out. But it's also like... It's hard because in schools there's a set like procedure and protocol on how to react and de-escalate, but there's things that are done differently at home. So... It's important for like teachers, educators, and parents to communicate on a proper way to not discipline, but like de-escalate a situation with each individual child. Way down, nice. This is probably gonna have a rainbow prisma slime. You see how this little star in its head? It didn't. That's disappointing. Because usually the ones have little like circles on their heads. Or antennas, that's what they're called. They usually will drop items. Okay, way down next. I really hate these maggot things. They're so annoying. Y'all ever see Tremart's arrow? They're scary. It looks basically like a queen ant. Because we had some in our house, or we saw one in our house the other day, and we're like, uh-oh. <laughs> but it turns out it just flew in from outside, so it wasn't, like, actually in the house. Still was concerned. His termites are not good. Very bad, very bad. random thought. I'd like to get into like taxidermy. Sounds kind of sus, right? But I just really like the look of bugs. And this is like a recent thing. I used to be super scared of like insects and bugs when I was little. But now like my thing is like if I can see it, like if one lands on me and I can see it, like I'm fine. But if one lands on me and I can't see it, that freaks me out. But like in our garden, there's so many like really cool like beetles. Granted, they're all bad, because beetles are pests. But, like, they're so pretty. Like, just the designs on the shells for exoskeletons are really cool. I'd also like to get into resin. I think resin is a really interesting medium to get into. Because right now I'm dabbling with polymer clay. And I saw this one um, artist who mixes, like, polymer with resin. And it creates like this really like glassy, almost jelly type of finish to it when you pour the resin on top of the polymer. It's a really nice look. I like, kind of want to dabble the resin at some. But then it's also like, I'm trying to save money right now. Like I can't be spending everything. <laughs> like
like the last time I went to Michael's, I spent like two hundred fucking dollars. But that's because like I have no self control. If I go shopping, like I'd be breaking the bank. Like pre COVID, like every paycheck I'd get, like I'd go to the mall. Oh, I have no inventory left. Hmm. And I would just like buy clothes. Which is bad. Like I should I do not have I do not need more clothes. <laughs> and the clothes I have aren't even that nice. Like I wish I could like There's a lot of stuff that I wanna buy, it's just it doesn't fit my body type very well. Like I really like the look of like looser fitting stuff now. But I like how like tighter fits look on me. Mainly because like I like my body shape a lot. I just need to lose 40 pounds and then I'll be fine. Then I'll be good. Life will be good when I lose 40 pounds, am I right? That's insane. I don't think I've ever like weighed that much. Yeah, I've never I've never been under like 150. Come on, I just want, I just want. I just want iron. Mind you, I'm not doing anything to lose weight, so. I'm not trying. <laughs> Only exercise I do is biking, which is fine. Better than nothing. Like, if I wanted to, like, actually lose some of my tummy, like, I should be doing, like, core exercises. But it's like, nah. I don't need to. I'm fine. Oh, I can talk to that guy. I forgot about that mission. Nine to seventeen damage. Yeah, that's not much than the sword, so I don't really need to buy a new one yet. I think a really funny concept for a stream. I wouldn't be doing this soon, but like would be like a hot take one. So like either getting up a couple people together and like having their have them say their hot takes and debate them or like get like comments of people's hot takes and like react or like defend them i've seen some more stuff like that being done on youtube like ages ago like i think buzzfeed had a series on it but i think that'd be a really fun concept to like produce That'd be cooler tier list. I love tier list content, man. I love them. I don't know if you watch like YouTube much, but like Jay Schlant released a YouTube video, a rare YouTube video, where like he did a chip tier list, and like I agreed with every, like literally every single take he had. Basically, the list was like sun, sun chips are amazing, blaze chips are F tier all the way, and I'm just like right. <laughs> I think, like, tier list, it's such a good content because, like, it's either polarizing or, like, it brings people together, you know? 
Oh my god, I just had a splinter. Or it felt like a splinter, rather. Okay, it's Friday. I don't think we have enough potatoes for everyone. I should get my fishing rod. That way I can fish. I need to upgrade my inventory. Because once I have the 36 slot, then I don't have to worry about leaving tool behinds. Tools behind. Okay, I have to make sure I buy more fishing bait today too. buy the rare seed. I don't think I'm really saving up for anything specific at this point. So I think the large inventory is 10 grand, but that's that's gonna take a while to get anyway. So... I wasn't farting, that was just my couch cushion, okay? I don't know if the mic picked it up, but that was just, just in case it did, okay? I actually like this little, because it's a little love seat, just like a two seat couch that I basically have crammed in my room in a corner. But it's nice because like the cushion lifts up, they can store stuff in it, which is actually amazing because I have all my craft shit in it. Because I don't have many shelves in my room. But I think shelves are kind of cringe. Low-key a waste of space. So when you put stuff on it, it doesn't look nice. Unless it's a decorative shelf. Like, if you're using it just for storage, it does not look nice. Will the child like a dandelion? No! Too bad, kiddo. I don't care. Let's see what our hearts are at. Man, no one likes me. All we gotta care about is Leia. That's all we're going for. Will the child like parsnips? No. have like an open door policy when they were younger because we kind of did up until like we were teenagers like I think it's bad because like you're just basically implying that you don't want to give any privacy to your kid And it sucks too because like we only have one bathroom in a house we have a one and a half bathroom but like no i didn't good you're one of the lucky ones i agree yeah they're it's toxic it's not like i have heard stories not anyone that i knew personally thankfully but like of parents like unhinging the door from the frame and it's like are you insane like, oh my god. 
Like, you're just asking for your your kid to not want to associate with you at that point. Um. But we have a one and a half bath. Oh, the other half bathroom is just filled with clutter, so, like, we don't use it. So, like, we only have one bathroom, and we have four people in the house. And it's just, like, there's been so many times where, like, we barged in on each other. Like, we weren't allowed to, like, lock the bathroom door either, which I found kind of sus. But it's like, even now, still, like, I'm a fucking adult. I'm 22, and, like, my parents will still come in when I'm using the bathroom. And it's like, what are you doing? Okay, Loki, I think my mom learned it from her mom, because, like, my grandma's house, the bathroom does not have a door. It does not have a door at all. It just has like, you know, the strings of beads? That's that's all it has. Insane. Like, I hate going. I mean, she's in Hawaii, so like, we don't see her often, but like, I hated using the bathroom there. That's haunting, yeah. It's like, I don't understand why. I think it's because, oh, okay, I know why, I know why. But it used to have a door. Because it has like the, the frame for a door, right? But, like, my grandpa, um, he suffered a stroke, so, like, he had to use a walker, so he couldn't, like, open the door. I think that was why they took the door away. But still, it's like you could put up a curtain, maybe. Not, not, not bead strings. Like, that, you can easily see through the strings of beads, but maybe a curtain would be better? Okay, point. They still don't have a door. My grandpa passed away a couple years ago. So it's almost 10 years ago at this point. And like, they still don't have a door up. It's like, oh my god, I don't, I don't get it. It's like, I get it, we're family, but like, it's icky. It's icky. I just want to preface, my family is not like too fucked up, but like, we're all kind of messed up. Low key, high key. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about something nicer. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's his birthday? Oopsie, I didn't know. Imagine getting a parsed up on your birthday. Adds character. Uh, I know, right? I mean, we all love, like, a broken character, right? Low key, high key, I think the people who have like the most like traumatic past are like the most well developed people. Because a lot of trauma like builds strength, you know? Like, we all love an anti hero. Like, I can't imagine, like, what type of perspectives the people who, like, grew up with extreme privilege or extreme wealth. Like, I can't imagine, like, what their perspective or, perspective or like, their lack of perspective means. There's Pierre, staring at the fountain. I've never seen him over here, dude. <laughs> Rich people's takes are usually trash. Loki hikey, Loki hikey. <laughs> trash takes. I don't think I've ever known or like met anyone at IRL that is like richy rich. Like. I'd have to say that, like, the friend I had that was, like, kind of there was, like, upper middle class. You know, like, they had a nice, like, three-story home, five-car garage, and I was like, oh, man, these guys are rich, you know? But, like, I don't think I've met, like, a richy rich person. I think... There's a lot of I think takes today, man. Um... <clears throat> 
But, um, what was I gonna say? But, like, the people who, like, buy things to, like, have them, it's kind of like a toy. Like, you like the idea of having it. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get that new, that new action figure, right? But then it's like, once you get it, you don't play with it that much. Like, you just have things to just say you have them. Like, the people who have, like, private jets, like, how often are you really gonna use it? Like, it'd be different if you're using it, like, if you travel off work, but, like, otherwise, like, just have it to have it. Or, like, the people who have, like, the nice-ass cars, like, they just collect them. And it's like, you don't even drive them. And, like, when you do drive, you gotta be extra careful, because, like, if you get a scratch on it, you're dead, you know? Or like repairs are gonna suck to patch it up. That's why I think people should own and buy way less than they do now. Yeah. I mean, it's also kind of like the whole, I guess, values of a, um, like of a capitalist society. You're driven to like want to buy more and more. Like that's just like what people value now. No point keeping up with the... <laughs> Joneses is lame. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, I used to be really into collecting things when I was, like, younger. Like, I had a rock collection. I had a quarter collection. Like, just the excitement of getting the item was the best part. But then once you got it, you're like, oh, I gotta get the next one now. Like, I wanted to purchase a few, like, Nendoroid figurines. Like, the little chibi ones. So, I was, I was really into, like, Hayaku the anime. Like, I was so close to buying the figurine. They're, like, 60 to $100 each. But then I was like, you know, if I buy one, I'm gonna have to literally buy all of them. Because, like, I do not need this. And now, like, I have no, like, shelf to put them on. It's, like, it's pointless. I think it's also fun to think, well, like, if I had money, what, what would I buy? Like, it's fun to dream. You know, like... It all just seems so stupid to me. I think it's because, like, we don't get it because we, we, we're not there, you know? I think... It comes a lot... It comes back to, like, being humble and stuff, too. Um... Like, if you grew up being surrounded with that type of, like, mindset, and I guess you're kind of used to it. But, like, I don't think you, like, snap and then you change to have that type of, like, value or morality. Should have put some money into Funko stock, or even better, cryptocurrency. Probably. Investing is, like, the best way to go. It's definitely not the most like tangible, but it's definitely the better decision. Like that's how like my grandma was able to like go on trips every year. Because she invested when she was like twenty five or thirty, I think. Um but yeah, I don't have money to invest, so <laughs> rip Megan. Sounds like those raccoons are back again, filthy vomits. Ah, <laughs> uh, you turned up at the right time, miss. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks, make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. It was me, I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that'll go to waste if I don't take it. Is this not a commentary on modern... <laughs> um... Fuck. American poverty rates? That was what I was trying to say. 
Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? I know it's illegal to, like, dump your trash in other people's receptacles. But I don't know if it's, like, illegal to take from people's trash. Is it? I mean, I don't know. I've never gone dumpster diving. <laughs> Get a job, lol, no. Thanks. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. I think it's just more sad that people are throwing so much food away. Dumpster diving is indeed illegal. Okay, got it. <laughs> I had no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've never done it, so I don't know. Uh, you can go on home. I promise I won't mention George's can anymore. Keyword, George's trash. You can tell him he scared off the raccoons for good. See, he's going in another trash. <gasps> the cut. Wait. Oh, he's shaking. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on. Take it. We, but people do it anyway. You'd be surprised what you find in a GameStop dumpster, though. At least a while back. Things have gone so digital. Um, what is your friend found in a dumpster? Like, tell me. Did they find, like, actual games? Like, I'm trying to think. Why would they throw it away? What'd your friend find? I don't have any friends that did it it's on YouTube. Okay. I, I was trying to save you there. I thought you did. People would find broken systems games. Oh my god. Why would they not? Or I guess you would go to that place to recycle them. So I guess if they can't use it, they have to toss them. That's crazy though. <clears throat> okay, good thing my dad didn't know that. Because like, he's totally the type to like hoard shit. Or like go dumpster diving. So good thing he did not know that. Okay, so let's see. It's the 26th. We only have two more days until the end of the season. I might go... Ooh. I kind of want to keep going. <laughs> I kind of want to finish off the season. But then I know if I start a new season... Like, next week, I'm gonna totally forget where I was. Yeah, I think I'll go for two more days, so about 40 more minutes. I really want to finish off the season. This is basically just grinding. And hoping we can get iron. So we can hopefully build some sprinklers.
my TV, like, it has an auto brightness, so, like, it'll shift based on, like, the light levels. And it just went to, like, the brightest setting. God. Making my eyes bug out. I wish there was a way to, like, where I can manually change the brightness, but there's no way for me to do it on this TV. Like, I can only change the color mode, and it's really annoying. Okay, we're getting out of here. I do not like these dark levels in the mine. Kind of scary. Okay, I don't think there's gonna be much minerals. Cause I just wanna get the iron. So I wanna try and get iron tools by fall time. That's the goal. It's only 11 a.m. Nice, we're doing great on time. And we can for sure get to level 40 by the end of today.
Yeah, there's not many good ores in this stage for these two levels. I know that you can talk to like the fortune teller in the television every morning and see like the odds you'll have of like having more gems or more ores or like ladder spawning faster but it's like i'm planning my day around that is like dumb it's like i have to go there to get stones anyway usually like the fortune teller is only really good for once you're in the desert mines Nice. Nice. Okay, slingshot is stupid. Like, it's actually a dumb weapon. Accuracy is horrible. And, like, you have to carry. It's just a waste of stone, too. Finally, some iron ore. We should be able to get enough for at least a few sprinklers for next season, then. Oh, I just realized we're not gonna have, like, any money for seeds. Okay, tomorrow, then, we can't be focusing on mining. We'll have to focus on fishing, unfortunately.
Oh, I was on this tangent earlier about like people being parasocial with um streamers. Like, I'm only subbed to three people. Like, one is a prime sub and two is like out of pocket. Like, one of them, like, I subbed to Connor Eats Pants the other day during the Nickelodeon tournament. And like, he didn't read out my sub. And I was low key sad. I was just like, because like, he read off the name of the person like right before me and then right after me. I was like, Okay. <laughs> like, I think that's, like, the most, like, I guess, bothered by not getting noticed. Because earlier we were talking about, like, like, a streamer ignoring your message. <laughs> or, like, especially, like, smaller streamers. Like, I think that's the only time where I got, like, bothered. I was just like, oh, Disappointed. I just randomly thought about that. Okay, we don't need the door scrolls because we already donated that. We can sell those. I think I'm gonna need a new crate soon. I also have to reorganize. Because these chest setups are trash. Okay, can we craft iron yet? Nope. Okay, so we're gonna do one more day in game, then I'm gonna call it a day. Oh, if it's three o'clock. Okay, so let's place our sprinklers first. Get that done, then head off fishing. I always have difficulty, like, figuring out where to put the sprinklers. I need to get the hoe. I can't visualize it. So, I think it's here. Yeah, I gotta put one here. That was it. That was it. That was it. So it's down one over two. There we go. Okay. I can never remember the pattern.
Okay. We're just gonna fish all day today. That way we have enough money to buy seeds tomorrow. Or next week, rather, because this will be the last day in game for today's stream. Nah, Pierre doesn't need it. He's the mayor, he can get anything he wants. Oh my god, I did not bring my fishing rod. Small brain, small brain. I came all this way. All this way and I forgot my stupid fishing rod. God, I cannot believe it. I cannot. I just need to upgrade my inventory, then this will be an issue. It'll be a non-issue. Go again. Already 10 a.m. I could reset, but that feels like cheating. Oh, cutscene. Ew, it smells. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key out of his, fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has got to be a match for a big rusty old key. There's something moving around in there. It was kind of scary.
That was nothing. Literally did not press any buttons there. Easiest catch all day. Another easy catch. Yeah, we love these bottom feeder fish. Oh, thank goodness. Ready? He was walking away. Saved. Okay, so we should probably just save. I already have a fiber loss. Yeah, we don't really need an iridium.
Ooh, we don't have a lot of money. Ooh, we're not gonna have a lot for tomorrow. Might have to sell some of our crops tonight. Okay, if we're feeling exhausted, it's probably a good time to call it a day then. And it's already 9 o'clock, so don't have much time to get back to the farm. Oh, of course, a seaweed. Okay. Got an okay catch. I usually like to have like 3,000 set aside for seeds. Might be able to hit that. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. Probably gonna have to sell some of my gold crops. Oh, we didn't get any halibut. Okay. Got a flounder. Okay, we can sell the rest of these fish. Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and sell a few of our gold crops. We have literally none. Let's not, let's not. Let's actually hold on to this. Let's just buy what seeds we can. Let's actually see if we have any gems we can sell. We got quite a few. So I like to have at least three of each. Because gems get you a pretty penny. Okay. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we have about three grand. That's nice. That's good. Okay, summer day one. So we will start that next week. Okay. So I'm going to call it a day here. Oh, wrong. Wrong screen. Rip. A leaked. No, it's just my other capture for the Odyssey run. Yeah. Um, I usually go for a bit longer for the Stardew streams because, like, it's usually like so chill. Like, I could literally play it all day, but I really shouldn't. So, you know, I gotta cut myself off somewhere. Also, like, people are gonna be home from work soon. But, you know, can't be. <laughs> can't be streaming when they're home. But yeah. Um, gonna be back again tomorrow. Probably some Mario Kart. A bit more of like. Pop beat hype stuff. Um, yeah, thank you for people who came in. We had Kidley come in. We had Yana show up. You know, OGs. Yeah, so we'll be back again tomorrow. Loading in PSD with some Mario Kart. Once again, thank you all who came in. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.